Hi friends, welcome to Samika Art World. Today I am going to do a painting of a cute little girl on a fabric cloth. And now let's check what are the materials required. The materials are two brushes, a wooden frame, a cotton cloth, a carbon paper to trace the design and favorite fabric colors. So now let's start the painting now. First of all wash the cloth and iron it nicely and then trace the design with the help of carbon paper. For the cap I took little bit of white and little bit of uh, brilliant purple to make a lighter shade. Give one coat completely. And then give an outline for the cap directly with the brilliant purple color without adding white. And for the pom pom I am using light violet shade. And for the face give one coat of flesh tint color. And for the shading part I took little bit of white color and crimson color to make the light pink shade. First I have applied near the hair portion and started blending it with the flesh tint color. Apply near the eye part also and start blending it. And for the mouth I took some crimson and I have started blending it. And even for the nose and the cheeks part also. The color which we are using for the shading part it has to be a diluted one so that it blends smoothly. And now repeat the same blending procedure for one more time so that the blending part will be seen properly. And for the hand also repeat the same procedure. And even for the hand and the dress, I am using the same purple which I have used for the cap. And in between, I am using direct brilliant purple color only without any shading. And for the hair part, I am giving diluted one sienna. As you can see, it is more of watery, so be careful and try to do inside the lines. Once again give outline to the cap and blend it with the lighter color. Well, compared to the other colors, the brilliant purple color is originally a diluted one. No need of adding water at all. It blends very nicely and very smoothly. And now with the same color give fine lines on the cap. And give the lines even for the dress also. And for the hand give little bit of shading. And on the dress part there is a small teddy bear and for that I have painted yellow color. And now I am giving white strokes on the cap so that the caps looks more real. And for the hair part I have mixed black and little bit of brown to make a darker shade and give fine lines. The lines here have to be very thin. Make sure that when you are giving strokes, the upper portion should be darker and when the stroke comes down, it has to be lighter so that it gives more real and natural look. Now again I am giving strokes with the very light shade of brown. And now let's move to the eye part. And for the eyes, I have made a circle with black color. And now I took light blue shade and covered the complete eye part. 
and then give a black outline and start blending with the blue color and now with the black color do a small eyebrow and the eyelashes and give outline even for the nose and for the mouth also and to make the outline I took little bit of black and little bit of brown color it is not completely black and here for the eyes I am giving white dots and even for the duck eyes also and for the pom poms I took flat brush and dabbing it with the white color and here for the eyes again I took little bit of white and again started blending with the blue part and here for the teddy bear I am adding little bit light brown and blending with the yellow color I took white color and again started dabbing it on the pom poms Pom pom needs multiple touch ups to give real pom pom feel. So after each touch up give some time to dry and then you can go for another touch up. Now give the fine lines for the nose part and the mouth part for the teddy bear. And now give white dots to the teddy bear eyes. I am now done with my painting. And let's check out the cute girl now. You can try this painting on your kids dresses, handkerchiefs, jute or cloth bags or uh, any divan pillow covers. Even you can also try applique work. That is first do the painting on a piece of cloth. Later cut the painting and stick it on any of your dresses. It looks very beautiful. And I am going to use this as a handkerchief. Try this cute painting and comment below your experience. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Please do follow my insta page Samika Art World.